Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto 3. And there's some guns here. I don't really have a lot of guns, so that is always a thing that I can welcome. So last time we finished up what may have been one of the more stressful episodes that I've had to deal with in a while. We pretty much, it involved us going literally halfway across the damn world for Asuka just to take care of some shit, but we did it. And now it looks like she has another mission for us to do, so we'll just pop right over across the parking lot here, and we'll do it. By the way, some weird shit uh, unfolded today. Literally right before I made this video, like before I started filming this video, apparently Lil Wayne like almost fucking died today or something. I'll, uh, I'll tell you guys about it here in a second while I pick up this mission. Sam, like sad sadistic asshole music, like demonic off. farting or something. Give it a quick prod. Oh, what is that gooey yellow stuff? Poop. Oh, hey, babe. My handyman. I, I was bored, so I came over to keep a suka company. Well, that's nice. She's got the makings of a natural, this girl. She's managed to extract this little gem from our guest. Out of There's his a butt. plane coming into Francis International in two hours' time. It is full of Catalina's poison. You can avoid airport security by getting a boat out to the runway light buoys and shooting the plane down on its approach. Collect the cargo from the debris and stash it. Okie dokie. Oh, you be careful now, okay, baby? Oh, don't worry, I will. The chili oil. The chili oil? That doesn't sound very good at all. Oh, shit, we only got three and a half minutes to go. Okay, we need to go right now, then. Because I don't know where this place is, so let's move. I don't know if we have to go all the way back to Asuka's place or not. I'm just going to follow the blip. So, yeah, weird thing. Apparently, Lil Wayne almost died today. I mean, not like a lot of you really even care. I mean, I don't really either. I mean, okay, I take that back. I do care because of the fact that he's a human being. I mean, nobody at the age of 30 deserves to die, you know, that young. But then again, you know, when you live a life that's predicated off of, you know, literally being high like 97% of the time on, you know, marijuana and really low-grade cough syrup, I mean, I'm, I guess it's, you know, it's bound to happen eventually. But it's like, what the hell for? I mean, why would you, why would you even drink that much cough syrup in the first place? I mean, I mean, you know, when I'm sick, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. A little bit of Robitussin does the body good, but not the kind of thing that I'd want to be drinking, you know, straight out of a damn styrofoam cup all day long. It's like, why would you even think about doing that? It's fucking dumb. But yeah, I guess uh, TMZ they they reported that you know he was. Uh, he was put into a, like a medically induced coma, and that he was being read his last rites, and his family was on the was flying on the way there, and blah 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 blah. The entire world was coming apart on Twitter, and it was kind of funny because people are that, you know, they're that worked up over somebody that they've never even met in their entire life, and it's like, holy shit, what are you doing? And the the part that was bothering me the most is like, in the event that he actually died. I was just, I was thinking to myself, I was like, oh god, if he actually dies, there's going to be like an illegitimate, unending barrage of these high school ass kids being like, oh my god, R.I.P. Lil Wayne, he's the greatest rapper of all time, we've shot down in his prime, blah 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 blah. It's like, dude, he wasn't that good, okay? I mean, sure, he sold a shit ass of albums, but that doesn't mean anything. What that means is that there are really that many people that are complete morons that really thought that, that was a good idea. Okay, so what we need to do... Got that rocket launcher. I was I was thinking to myself on the way to this point, like, exactly when... Or, like, how are we going to be taking this thing out? I mean, I we don't really have... I mean, we have a bunch of machine guns and shit. Is that the right plane? I really don't know if it is or not. I'm going to assume it's not because... But what if it is? Well, no, they got all those weird-ass little dodo planes there, and I don't think it's that one. What plane is it, then? If it's not that, then what is it? Oh, boy. Be prepared to be very stressed out. Okay, it's not that plane, because that's not in focus. It's... God, stop doing that, damn it. Okay, so what plane is it, then? Where... where is it? Where is it coming from? That bo... That, bur <laughs> that bod just spurned out of nowhere. I can't even talk anymore. But yeah, so that's... Uh, that's apparently what was going on there. Apparently... He tweeted later that he was fine and that, you know, everything's all cool and blah blah blah. And so that's like one of the first times that TMZ's been wrong that I can actually account for it. I mean, not like I actually pay attention to TMZ very often, but. Yeah, baby! 
Yeah, you're damn right I'm gonna collect that cargo. Holy shit, that was a great shot. Got him on the first one, nonetheless. Oh, God. Two of eight. Gotta pick them all up. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Drug cartel. Come on. You gotta get over there. You gotta go. You gotta go. Thank God there's no, like, actual time limit here. The thing that's... Oh, God. Oh, God. The guy's gonna see me and he's gonna come shoot at me. I love how, like, the helicopter's... Oh, shit. The helicopter's, like, right here. I'm not doing anything about it, really. Come on. Come on. Nope. Nope. You got... No, you gotta go up. No! What the hell just happened? No, don't do that. No, don't do that! Claude, you idiot! Okay, get a different weapon that you can use and jump. Thank you. Here we go, here we go. No, get it! Get the damn package! Thank you! Oh my good lord above! Sweet Jesus, there's a fire! Okay, so we got that going on now, at least. The big thing, though, is I just, I wouldn't want to have to be hearing that for the rest of her. Let him ruin his damn career just by getting old, okay? You know, he's bound to do something stupid that, you know, I mean, he, he stopped making quote-unquote good music a while ago. I mean, half the shit that he talks about doesn't even make any sense. It's always about, like, aliens and, you know, drugs and vaginas and get everything else. And it's like, hey, guess what, dude? We stopped caring a while back. I mean, the the main people affiliated with you at this juncture is Drake and Nicki Minaj, two other people that everybody wants to see disappear off the face of the earth forever and not be sad about it. But yeah, it was it was kind of it was getting kind of crazy for a little bit though. I mean, everybody's like, oh my god, Lil Wayne's dead or he's dying, and then everybody's like, oh no, he's not. Oh, his own friend said that he's okay. And then after that point, it's like, okay, you're getting multiple reports from different sources. Jeez. Okay! My god, I just did like a... I just literally did a barrel roll. <laughs> okay, this is not, not the place to be. Live and die in LA is the place to be. Oh, no! What are you doing? No! What are you doing? Oh my god, we're still alive. I don't know how. I don't know how. Go, baby, go! Run! Run, my ninja, run. You need, to, you need to go. Mahaja Reef is central all the way out to the lands of Sauron. We need to go. How this minivan's going as fast it is, as it is is kind of impressive. I don't know where I'm going, to be painfully honest with you. I just hope that it's going to turn out good. Oh, no. No! No, I need to get that health! I need to get the health! Get it! Go! Back in the car! Yes! Okay, see you later. Back at 11. All right. But yeah, I just like, that's one of the first times that I've seen Twitter, like, be that active. I don't know how many people actually use it, but that's the first time that I've seen it, like, that crazy. Or, you know, there's two different conflicting stories, and you don't, know what, you don't know which one to believe, because one of them's an actual, like, news syndicate, and the other one... Jeez, wow! My god, that guy is totally dead. Yeah, I'm gonna watch you burn. I'm gonna watch you burn when your ashes are in a jar, yes! And we win! Ransom? Oh, great. Dual mission. I've got your precious Maria. If you don't want her face to look like she fell out of out with the butcher, bring 500 grand to the villa at Cedar Grove. It's actually the way that he wrote it, for me to say it that way. Well, I've, I've got 500 grand, luckily, so I guess that's could have been worse. C? Who the hell is C? I don't know who C is, to be honest with you. question is now is, do we go do his missions or do we go do Mr. Donald's missions? Because I, I, you know, God spoken, I don't know which one to do first. I'm going to assume Donald's missions come first because I don't feel like his are directly related to this at all. So I guess we're going to go, well I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's related somehow. All these things are related somehow, but not the point. Point is, I don't know really what we're getting ourselves into here. And I can't imagine by doing his missions that we're going to negate something here. I mean, uh, I don't know, man. I don't want to, like, go do his mission and have it cancel out stuff, because I know that's a possibility in this game where you can, like, disrupt the time flow of things by doing other people's missions. But I feel like I need to do this. 
So let's let's give it a let's give it a try at least. Escort service. What have we? You are proving to be a safe investment. A rare thing in these days of falsehood. My oriental friend will need an escort. Oh no! I remember this. I want you to follow him and make sure both he and my package get to Pike Creek unharmed. Oh boy, this isn't going to go over very well. Okay, so we're going to need we're going to need a very very sturdy um, a very sturdy car. Maybe if I can, because he's going to have a really I mean, he's going to be in an armored vehicle, but I'm going to need something also. I don't know what though. Ideally, I'd love to have something like a fire truck. I mean, that would be great. But realistically, that's probably not going to happen. But maybe a school bus? That could be interesting. I mean, that would definitely protect me. Because I'm going to have people, you know, trying to ram me in the ass relentlessly for a little while here. So, you know, as long as I can... As long as I can have something that will uh, ensure that everything's going to be all good here. No, I don't want to damage you. What the hell's going on? Oh, he would go the other way. Why would you do that? Ugh. Moron. It's alright. Everything's going to be okay, everybody. In my bus of justice, nothing, nobody will inflict any harm upon him because that is how the world works. Unfortunately, because we're so far away... And we're breaking all the rules here because that is how we run, how we run life. I mean, why would you even bother being in lanes at this juncture? Just, just drive, you know. Man, he's driving so slow. This is ridiculous. I mean, whatever. At least it, you know if he's gonna drive like an asshole, at least it's not upping his damage on its own. Oh no. Hiya! Yeah, get out of the way. I don't want to deal with any of your bullshit, okay? See, this is why I got the bus. If I got if I got a regular car, this would not be happening right now. Nope. Peace out. See, this is what I this is what I can do. I can box people into a corner. Nope. Not gonna happen. Still not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is great. These guys are sitting here trying to get me and they just can't do it. Don't think I'm not watching you. Don't think I'm not watching your every move over here. You got nothing on me, Mr. Colombian drug lord guy. You got nothing on this. Okay, maybe two of them got something on this, though. Oh, shit. No. No, no, no. I will not allow you to pull off your little shenanigans. You must drive, son. You must drive. God, everybody's got to have a damn car these days. Shoot. Shoot. No. Come on. Keep on moving. Yeah. He got himself stuck. What an idiot. Okay, here we go. This, this might be a safe place to be. I hope. I really do going to be very, very difficult for me to see in here. Actually, we're in we're in FPS mode. That's actually fine by me. Because they're not really they're not gonna be able to get past me. Try as they might. Yeah, try it, I dare it. Whoa! Okay, yep, he did. He really did. This is bad. Now I can't see. <laughs> Oh shit, my bus is on fire! Go! Oh god, this is now very, very bad. I am not going to be able to catch up to him. No. 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 Oh god, this is really bad. Somebody give me a car. Like, now? Why is it that now that I'm in a, in, you know, deadlocked in a mission that's really important, now there's no cars in here? Why would this happen now? Give me that damn van. Go. Please. Drive. Now. Catch up. Oh, God. Oh, boy. This is not good. He's so far away. How is he driving this fast all of a sudden? 
I wasn't doing that before. I'm sitting here driving like a snail dick the whole time, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, the guy that's protecting my balls is on fire. He's on fire, so I'm just going to take off like an idiot because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I think I found him. There we go, I found him. Sweet baby Ray's. He is still okay. Don't know how, but he is. And that's that's fine by me. I mean, as long as the guy's alive. Can't see anything. Can't see anything with his thing on! No, no, no! He knew what he was doing! What are you doing? Why are you driving like that? Stop swerving around, you drunk ass. Okay, at least we're... We're in an area where things are better. Well, I'm not going to say better. There's nothing that's going to be better about this. There's going to be Colombian cartel all over the place in just a minute. I just got to gotta scout the area up here and make sure there's nobody just waiting. Because they will be. They will be. Where are you guys at? So far, nobody. Come on. Move it. Move it. Move it. What the hell is that guy doing? Just driving like his head's on fire. Oh, okay. I was thinking maybe he was out to get him or something, but apparently he's not. He's just he's just an asshole. There we go. He's gonna be okay. Oh no! Oh gosh, I was way too close. Hurry up! Please! Please get to your safe area already. Oh my god, this is not good. No! We finally got over here! And he, oh. Damn it all! Really? We had it! In the bag! No! Damn it all! Oh, I'm so pissed. The thing that the thing that I wonder is like how close were we really to getting it? How close were we actually to getting the damn thing done? <sighs> the world may never know, unfortunately, because we have run out of time for this episode. So when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3, we're going to have to take another crack at this. As much as I don't want to. Because this is proving to be a very, very hard mission. I'm not really enjoying it that much. But nobody said it was going to be fun. All the time, at least. There will be heartbreak, and there will be times where you're pissed off because you can't understand why people are doing some of the things that they're doing. But when all is said and done, you're going to park the car in the garage of the vagina, and everything's going to be alright. Okay. Well, this has been your host, AMF1534, here on another episode of GTA 3. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.